breaks my heart to hear, see, witness as a citizen, as a mother, as a woman, as a grandmother and as part of a country that worships children, whether the child is in the womb or outside, through our culture. The kind of incidents that we are hearing these days on an everyday basis in different parts of our country. We have been working in this area for years together now, talking about it, fighting for it, yet till an incident happens and then another incident happens, there seems to be no remedy for the kind of horrified incidents that we hear today. Are children meant for trade, trafficking and as objects of just entertainment, amusement, spending a little time for short durations, just pastime? Is there no end to this kind of horrified atmosphere and environment in which the children of our country and the world are facing? Where is the problem? We have been saying this is happening for years and years together. Some reported, some unreported, some fought for, some just left alone because of backgrounds, because of economic uh, limitations, because of social limitations. Is this what we as a society end up giving back to children? In their world, they understand love and compassion and togetherness and they understand only that. And the least they expect is the same, at least in small percentages, when they look up to us. From the time of birth, a child opens its eyes to look into an adult community around family, society, country, and hopes and believes that there they are, all of them to take care of me, and lives with hope and faith and it surrenders itself completely into the hands, into our hands. We as a society, we do not keep up to their trust. We do not rise up to the occasion. Crime, abuse, harassment is what we give back today. There is a method how we need to look after children in a society. From the age of, from the newborn to seven, and then 7 to 11 and then from 11 onwards till they grow up, there is a method, an expectation and a accountability and responsibility for us to develop them into a healthy minded, healthy with the emotional health, psychological health all in place. And if that is the need, then we need to look at the mental health of the adult society today. Where is the emotional health? psychological and mental health of the people who are supposed to give it to the children. Where are we standing today? No child is able to understand, am I safe where I am? No child even stops to think, am I safe? The child believes and trusts that I am here in this world and there's a world out there which is going to take care of my needs, to look after me. So all that the child needs is love, play, happiness, food, nourishment and basics. Their demands are so less, their needs are so less, yet we fail in, in looking after them in the midst of our greedy needs, in the midst of our hatred, in the midst of the kind of people we are because we can never rise up to be like children as they are better people than us. We need to actually learn from them what is humanity. We have become a poisonous society with poisonous tendencies of hatred, of greed, of lust and we trade and traffic and treat children as objects of our greed. This has to stop and we as a foundation, Daya Foundation, invites each and every one of you and call you to work with us from every street corner, from every nook and corner, from every place around this country and around Tamil Nadu.
to come and join hands with us from wherever you are. We need to find the justice, not as and now it happens, as and when it happens. We need stringent laws for children. We need protection. We need safety. We need to come together as a community. In the ancient times, when I'm talking of the kind of India we were before, the proud India we were before, when there were no police stations and courts in ancient India, we were more prosperous, more harmonious, more happy with a group of elders managing their locations beautifully well when there was a lot of culture, lot of character and lot of morality everywhere around when it comes to what each one should contribute from where they are. We belonged to a culture that was rich in humanness. We believed in respecting every life as we respect ourselves. And we believed in perfecting ourselves as we wish to work for the perfection of others. Now here we are when children live in anxiety, fear, anguish, just because there is an elderly society out there, the society of adults who least sensitively take care of their basic needs in their life today, leave alone, keeping them free of fear and terror. Yes, we are unleashing terror against children. The humanity has to rise up together. And I call upon each and every one of you from every nook and corner of India, Tamil Nadu and the world to join me in this mission, Care for Children, for creating this awareness for what we all need to come together and do for children who are tender lives, so dependent, surrendered into our hands. I welcome you to join me in this mission, Care for Children. Let us protect children. Let us work for them. Let us love them and nurture them.